So I just watched the recently released Gothics documentary, and this thing is phenomenal. It's available right now on Lure, and if you think my opinion is worth anything, you have to go see it. I believe the film captures almost perfectly the age in which we now find ourselves, namely the digitization of the mob. I mean, when you read a book like 1984, which was written in the 20th century before the technological boom, before the internet and such things, George Orwell was able to depict what social pressure looks like how the mob gets you to acquiesce to a way of thinking that's not reality. We see in the book 1984, the main character, Winston, and how he deals with, navigates, and is ultimately consumed by the social pressure. 1984 ends tragically. Winston's spirit is broken. He ends up, I think, praising Big Brother. What the Gothics documentary depicts is a woman who seemingly almost succumbs to the same kind of pressure. There is no redemption. There is no conversation. It is whatever we say about you is truth and you're done. But here's a woman who comes back stronger than ever to face the mob on the front lines. We live in an information age and a digital age. And so one's voice online is just as important and just as necessary as one's voice in the public square. Gothics and her story as told in this documentary to me is a case study of not only how necessary it is that you persevere, but how you must also be open to and led by truth. Truth, by the way, is Christ. I rate the Gothics documentary an easy 10 out of 10. The story is compelling and it flows well. The cinematography is well done. The music is well done and her story inspires, which to me is the most important thing. I'm not being paid to say any of this. I mean everything that I said from the bottom of my heart. Do yourself a favor and go to lore.tv and watch the Gothics documentary tonight.